I'm gonna show you guys how to make this drum and bass synth in Vital using wavetables that you probably already have. If at any point in this video you learn something new, consider hitting like on the video and subscribing to the channel. And if you're having trouble finishing music, grab my finishing music checklist in the description of this video. So the preset consists of just two oscillators and this is the default saw wave here. You can see when I bring this all the way down, that's what the default saw wave is. And I've got this LFO shape right here. It's set to envelope mode and on one quarter notes. Then we've got that mapped to a bunch of different things. First of all, it's mapped to the smear, which is a wavetable morphing option that you can select from right down here. And we've added seven voices of unison and spread the pitch by 15%. And we sent that down to filter one, which is at the dirty 24 dB setting. And we've got it right here in the middle for a band pass. And we've got LFO one set to the cutoff here. And you can see it's not a really wide range down there. It's just, just a little bit, just a little bit of movement there. Then we have a sub, which is just a sine wave down three octaves. If you guys want to know how to shift octaves up and down, you just hold shift and click and drag and it adjusts by 12 semitones, which is a full octave. Then we have grinder right here, which is a noise you could find here in the factory set the factory library right here just grinder right there and then we're sending that one direct to the effects as well both of these are going direct to the effects a couple other options you want to remember is turning up the glide a little bit and then hitting always glide right there and then bringing the voices down to one because we're making a bass here then we have our phaser up here which is set to like it's this is right here in the middle feedbacks at 42 percent the center is at 74 mil, uh, semitones roughly the depth is down here at like roughly 5%, but I also have LFO1 controlling that as well. You can see that's moving that phaser a little bit. Then we have the multiband compressor. We have the release turned down. That's all I did for that. And then we have the chorus. The chorus is a big part. Listen to it without the chorus. You've got the depth all the way down, the spread all the way down, and the cutoff is set to right here, which is at 54. The feedback's turned up just slightly. And we have delay one all the way up, and then delay two at looks like 8.1 milliseconds. Then we have the soft clip distortion. We have our distortion right after this, and this is set to 17.63 dB, lots of distortion. <laughs> And then we have our EQ down here, which not any crazy EQ moves here, but we do have the LFO one on the middle node here on the cutoff. And we have just a little bit of gain and that's that just sort of gives it a little bit of extra movement and uh, a little bit of body in the mid range. <laughs> And then as far as post-processing goes, all we have is an amp. If we listen to it without the amp, the amp just gives it that crunch. I love using the amp for basses. So the settings on the bass amp here is just, obviously we've set it to the bass setting, bring it up to 60%, bring the presence up to 7.46, the treble up to 7.06, the middle down to 3.33, same with the bass and then we switch the output to dual, and that's how we get this result. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, click like on the video and subscribe to the channel, putting out new videos every single week for you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.